Yo, yo, what's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Yusef Hood, the CEO, the owner of Hood Films. We also got the brand self made Ology. Welcome back to the channel. We love you. We appreciate you. I want to talk about Jay Z, man. A big night happened last night in the music world. And uh, I'm just enjoying the music world, so I'm just like a novice, but I know and I studied the music game since the beginning of time. So Jay-Z basically had a run-in with the police. Uh, I'm sorry, with, uh, with, with he won an award. Uh, Big Mike had to run in with the police. That's my last uh, 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 laugh. But uh, his uh, situation was he got on stage, he got the actual uh, award for uh, the Dr. Dre Award, which they just is a new award. And uh, he got that award, but at the time, it, by achieving this award, he had kind of there and started talking a little smack about the actual award show, the Grammys. So it was like, ooh, Jay, you, you sure? You know, you sure you want to take them on? But you know, back in the day, Jay Z did take them on. So I'm going to try to pull up an article real quick and see if we could talk about it real fast and uh, get right to it. So let's share that screen. And it uh, looked like we got the first article right here. Is it going to share it? Bam, it did it. All right, so it looked like our first article right here is going to be the Grammys. We're coming from the uh, New York New York Post, whatever this one is. New York Times. Right, so Jay-Z pointed out the, the rec uh, recording Snowdio Snubs, Black artists, including Beyonce, while accepting the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. So Dre is, like, way bigger than, kind of, with, uh, with, uh, than Jay if he get the Impact Award of Dr. Dre. But yeah, Dr. Dre is older than uh, Jay-Z, too, for about two years or something like that. He's like 56. I think Jay-Z's like 54. Dope-ass picture of Jay and him and his little daughter. But uh, he actually was mad. Look at two, two light-skinned people must have uh, gave him the award. Uh, that at least the black dude is. But well, anyway, you can see it say Jay-Z. Uh, during his speech on Jay-Z, Gwyneth tries the award for the show he described in his stubs and inconsistencies and giving honors to black artists. Point out his wife, Beyonce, the most Grammy has the most Grammys, but has never won album of the year. Even, uh, quote, even by your own metrics, it doesn't work. He said he had it. We want you to get it right, at least get it close to right. So Jay-Z is complaining, and he don't like it. He wants them to be a little bit more forward with them. And, uh, you know, they're not going to do no shit like that. You know, and in case you don't know, none of the black awards, which is hip-hop, was even shown. So we're trying to pull up his actual speech. And that way we can just listen to it real quick because uh, he did talk a little smack. And I'm, I'm glad he did because sometimes you got to just speak up. And people don't be able to expect well, it. Well, well, Thank you very much. Fair use, fair use. She doesn't take sippy cup and she has her own Grammys. Oh, congratulations. Uh, you first of all, um, thanks to Dr. Dre, who said he in the house, he turned it up. There he is. Andre Young, thank you so much. Right wow, I hate it, girls. The doors that you open, you know, showed us that we can be um, rock stars, seeing you on the Rolling Stones. Obviously, there's Run DMC with the Leathers and the Aerosmith. But when you came out west, you took it to a whole new level, put us on covers, Rolling Stones, put us around the world, you and Snoop, all that y'all did, all the records y'all broke. So thank you for this. Um, Jay-Z must be the first recipient. I'm not sure. Honored to accept it. Honored to accept it. And thank you to the Black Music Collective for all the work that you guys do. Scholarship for young creatives. Okay. And I didn't know it was this long. I thought I got right to so the point. To this is short. What you guys are doing out here. Obviously, uh, it's, uh, it's great to have a, an award um, for such an icon. I find yeah, let's, get to it. let's get to it. Can't take all this time. And I watched number one. Shout out to DMX. And he wasn't nominated at all. Oh, here you go. Was that year they both were number one. Did it for the best. But then, 98, I took a page out of their book. I was. Oh, he must be then, talking about it. 98, I went to like a hotel and watched the Grammys. I didn't even understand what the. Uh. How far we've come with uh, Will Smith and them, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince winning their first Grammy in 89. And boy, yeah. Woo! And then. They went to like a hotel and watched the Grammys. I didn't even understand what the <laughs> wasn't a great boycott. Um, he always hates people boycotts, but he was even against the boycotts. Then 
98, I took a page out of their book. I was nominated for Best Rap Album. And DMX, they dropped two albums that year. They both were number one. Shout out to DMX. And he wasn't nominated at all. So I boycotted. And I watched the Grammys. <laughs> we still watch it. Yeah, so. We want y'all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all. We love y'all. We want y'all to get it right. At least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't gotta clap at everything. Obviously it's sub obviously it's subjective because you know it's music and it's opinion based. But you know some things. You know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. Yeah, so go you right. Buy your own metrics that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know. Oh. Some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. <laughs> some of you made it robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. Hey. Hey. No, 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 no. That was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Um, but outside of that, outside of that, you know, we got to keep showing up. And forget the Grammys for a second. Just in All right, that's enough. But I just wanted to uh, hit y'all with that, man, to let y'all see what Jay said. Because he basically broke it down. He, he gave his opinion. And Jay got a lot of weight. He hold a lot of weight. His opinion is really, like, uh, highly measured. You know what I'm saying? People kind of give Jay-Z a lot of respect. For what he got to say, you know what I'm saying? And I think that he finally can't, you know, my lady was asking me earlier, like, why would Jay-Z say something now? He didn't say nothing when Kanye said something about Beyonce back in the day. And I was like, well, the reason why Jay-Z did that is because at that time he wasn't ready. He he, he wasn't mentally able to get up there and speak like that to power we, we, because he's a musician. He believed that the Grammys and all the whole power, they might even do but at the end of the day, he couldn't do that. And so Kanye got up there and said what he had to say about Beyonce, no less. But I think I told my lady, I said he did that. And he kind of kind of upstaged Jay-Z because that's Jay-Z's wife. And you got another man speaking up for his wife. And I told my lady at that time, I said, Jay-Z would never let that nigga be around his wife again because he don't want to have to be looking at her like, damn, you spoke up for me and my own man did. So Jay-Z wasn't mentally ready. He a little older than them. He older than even uh dang that so he he older guy so he wasn't ready at that time to speak to power and i said kanye you know what kind of personality he got he'll say whatever he got to say i said he'll get up and talk to god and be like why did you have me down there on earth with them that all this time i could have been up here with you i knew i was a god when i was born so he he'll say that he he ain't the kind of person gonna bite his tongue but then when you look at somebody like jay-z he held back, but then he did it a little bit more eloquent. He waited till he got older. He waited till he got the mental capacity to be able to articulate himself. And he said what he had to say. And he then, you know, in his Jay-Z fashion, he talked a little smack at the end, but he spoke up for his wife. She got the most Grammys, but she never won album of the year. Well, you know who won album of the year? Uh, Taylor Swift. And I was telling my lady the reason why she won album of the year is because she took her first album, which the people would not let her get the rights and own. She couldn't buy it back from them they would keep selling it to other owner other people and she never could be getting the ownership of her first publisher so what she did is she went and recreated her first albums she sung them herself again so then that meant she had another reason to go on tour another reason to do her stuff because she made the album again herself this one she owns so when she made the money from her tours she basically got all her people who helped her on the tour like the truck drivers costume people the people who whatever on the stage people and she brought up them to a whole meeting and she gave them like tripling four times more money than what they're paid so say you got a thousand dollars you might have got twenty thousand or fifteen thousand so not only is this going to make you be like i can't wait to work for her again you're going to tell everybody this the best tour you ever was on because she ain't helped you uh she basically didn't keep the money like most of these people are signed the record companies and when a record company puts you out, they pay your fee, you get out of my face. But she didn't do her people like that. Whoever worked for her, she gave them extra money. So then that made the industry be like, damn, you know, maybe these people, when they remake their music and they got the money, they're going to think different than a record company was a corporation and everybody got a job. Is she the boss? She made the music. She made the money. She paid the people. So that's going to make her have a little bit more credibility than Beyonce, who just really performed. And then she paid the people one time, whatever. She's not doing nothing wrong. She do what everybody do in business. You know, it's a job, but look what, look what Taylor Swift did. And now she won an album of the year 
it seemed like somebody that would do that should, I mean, especially her path, all she had to do to get out of the year. Damn, if you knew this for history, it'll make a little intriguing conversation. But when you think about Beyonce, ain't, ain't no history. Ain't no conversation about Beyonce this year. She didn't do it. She not doing the, uh, what's that thing coming at the Super Bowl? She not really doing a big old tour. Nothing that's really like, like concrete, tangible that make you be like, man, I'm interested. Say you're not really a fan. You're just somebody who knows she exists. And but now you heard about this and you're like, damn, intriguing. Like, uh, I don't know the Taylor Swift songs, but just being a person that knows music and love music, I know that little story. And it's way more than that than I can even tell you because I'm not really a person that follow her. But it's a lot more, more than that. But just that little information I gave you, it's, it's intriguing to know. So that's why she won. But I'm glad Jay-Z spoke up for his wife. I'm glad he finally came around where he had the mental capacity to speak up. And you know when Kanye West did it, he jumped on stage drunk. He did it kind of rambunctiously over the top. People was looking at him like he was crazy or he was, you know, inebriated. And, and then he kind of was looked down upon because he, that girl was really young at that time. And he jumped up, took the mic from her. So he wasn't respected after that. So, you know what I'm saying? I think Jay-Z finally just kind of came around and spoke up for his wife. And at the end of the day, that's going to make him happy. But he did the same thing by slapping uh, Chris Rock back in the day, he did the same thing. He slapped the hell out the damn Grammys this time and spoke up for his woman. And it, it's important to him, for him to do that because he got to lay in the bed with her every day. And then uh, she got to keep thinking about it. Every year we go to the Grammys. I remember when Kanye said what he said. But, you know, Kanye got a little mental issue, so maybe he had mental issues that night. What the hell we know? But he did speak up for his wife, and I respect Jay-Z for saying that and uh, doing what he did. So I wanted y'all to like and subscribe and thank y'all we're going to have a new uh, live coming up on a new subject matter in a minute. And I appreciate y'all for watching, subscribing, sharing, all that stuff. Holla.